Welcome back to the Pixel Pub, where we talk the best tech to help you game, stream, and create with less stress. Today, we're unboxing the Thermalrite AXP120 X67 White ARGB. It's an absolutely low profile CPU cooler designed specifically with small form factor and ITX builds in mind. Mine probably won't be ending up on a small form factor build, but if you're interested in seeing where it does end up, make sure you go check out this video I'll link up in the corner where I'm putting it on the brand new Pixel Pub PC. In the box on the top, we have the standard equipment when it comes to CPU coolers, AMD as well as Intel fittings and brackets, everything that you're going to need, as well as a full tube of included Thermalrite thermal paste, which is a nice added touch you don't always see. A little bit farther underneath, we have the manual for this. I don't read a lot of manuals, but the CPU cooler manual is definitely one that I do. Um, this is gonna tell you which pieces you need to go with specifically your CPU socket of choice. Definitely a manual that you're gonna wanna keep your hands on. Underneath that, we've got the super thin 15 millimeter fan that moves about 59 CFM of airflow. And finally, under that, we have the heat sink itself. At standing at only 67 meters tall and wrapped in a clean white finish, this CPU cooler, honestly, I think looks really great. Definitely going to be sacrificing a little bit of cooling potential with the small form factor on this, but it does look really nice. And if you need something that fits in a small, small area, this is about as small as it gets. This cooler has six heat pipes, a very slim 120 millimeter fan, and, a, and some solid cooling potential, but is it actually a good choice for streamers? Let's take a look now at actually installing this CPU cooler. Of course, I had to read the manual, make sure I was gonna get everything right. The next step is putting the correct mounting bracket on the back of your motherboard so that you're actually able to attach the CPU cooler. This kit does come with AM4, AM5, LGA 1700, as well as a slew of other Intel supported bracket types um, to be able to fit onto just about any CPU that you need. So, but of course, make sure you check the link down below. It's gonna have all of the listed, uh, listed sockets down there. Make sure it's gonna be compatible with your motherboard and processor. After we get the rear mounting bracket on, we have to apply the correct front mounting brackets to hold that in place and to give us a spot to actually be able to attach the cooler to. And of course, before we put the CPU cooler on, we need to apply some thermal paste. I've got some of my brand new Thermal Grizzly Duronaut uh, thermal paste here. Um, it was a little bit sticky going on, but it's definitely keeping this CPU cool at this point. Once the thermal paste has been properly spread, you throw that CPU cooler on top of it, screw it in through the holes directly in the top of the CPU cooler, and everything is going to be put in its place. Once the cooler is in place, all you need to do is put the fan of your choice on top, whether it is the included ultra thin fan or another fan. Any 120 millimeter fan uh, will fit on this. It uh, includes the right brackets as well. Plug the fan into the fan controller header as well as an ARGB header and you will be good to go. I'm really excited to put this CPU cooler through its paces on the Pixel Pub PC over the next little while here. You'll be able to see it in the back of every single one of my videos going forward. If you have any other CPU coolers that you'd like to see it tested out against, let me know down in the comments and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.